Hello, is this an Mr. Gambino here with a new video? In this video, I'm going to be going over the latest changes to the casino and its construction as of Thursday. And right now, I'm going over one I forgot, which was the fact that the parking stick or whatever that red and white stick was removed in Grand Theft Auto Online. I probably forgot to show it off, like I flew by it, but it was like literally right next to appearing on my screen but if you go there on your own time and your own gameplay you will notice that and i noticed new porta potties here i noticed like asides for the dumpster i believe like every other like thing that was there before was changed in terms of the location so i believe there was slight movement of certain construction props as well as the right side of the like main casino entrance area now it has props along it as well not just like right next to the doors and the like construction barrier those three construction barriers were like reduced to one those were some of the most major improvements and of course with that parking garage like red and white stick thing being removed that gives good that gives a good idea that there's probably going to be some sort of like garage to it and rockstar has been pretty good with giving us garage property since i would say the doomsday heist there's that like a year or whatever between like import export and like the um bunker and like the hangar of um gun running gun runnings bunker doesn't allow you to have vehicles in the garage and then Smuggler's Run is for aircraft to hangar. So it's there was like a year where there wasn't really a lot of like property storage. But then they've brought like property storage back for the Doomsday Heist after hours and arena wars. So it does seem like a typical rock surfing again, so I'm not too surprised that there's garage property. But I did want to show that off because of course it suggests there is gonna be garage property. And I saw someone go inside of it. I personally didn't have gameplay of being able to go inside of it, of course, since you would need like a no clip mod or something. I'd imagine for PC to even do that. Or if you could somehow get under the map on the consoles or whatever, but I wasn't really interested in looking in that. I didn't want to do that in the online, of course. If I had done it in single player, it would have probably made much of a difference. Regardless, that's not the type of thing I really would have wanted to do. But it seems like there's four floors in the garage, so hopefully that means it will equate to at least 40 vehicle slots that we can hopefully get with the casino. That's my personal thoughts on it anyways. And then, next we're on to the Grand Theft Auto Online Alleged Casino DLC. Still have to say alleged because they didn't give an actual name for the update. It's basically like a beta logo for the update. Obviously, it would have some word like casino, not just a typical Grand Theft Auto Online logo. But it is a pretty interesting logo. It probably confirms a couple to a few of the games, which I've somewhat covered them all in my previous casino DLC video. But at this rate, they're pretty much confirmed, unless for some reason they make it where you the casino is a business and like you can't even like, of course, gamble inside of it. But I think there will be actual gambling. It doesn't make a lot of sense why they would have the arena wheel, then bring poker into Red Dead Online. I think they even changed something with their like terms and conditions or something. Like, after Arena War, of course, I think it was, like, close to the release, or even a little after the release of Poker and Red Dead Online. So everything's leading up to an actual functional casino, for sure, which is what I really like about this. <laughs> if we're not able to gamble for whatever reason, that would just be really disappointing. But to start off, I want to go from, like, left to right from the bottom to top. On the bottom left is probably my favorite, not just because it's related to my profile picture, but 
because I showed off in my previous casino video that the like odds for the game seem like they're pretty good. I thought the game was pretty unlikely to make its way in just for that reason that there seems to be pretty good odds. Like you only probably have to like play like I think it was where I had to choose between one and twelve, thirteen and twenty-four, twenty-five to thirty-six. There's a way to choose one of those three groups of numbers. It's pretty easy after a couple of times in that game to get money from that. And you get like two million more if you bet a million. So for that reason, I thought it was unlikely for this to make its way in. But yeah, it seems like we're getting roulette in the casino DLC. Definitely makes me very happy. Out of all of those games, that's the one I'm definitely most hyped for. And then, there's a thing of cards, of course, on the right. I'm not too sure what the terminologies are. I think there's, like, spade and, like, of course, hearts and all that. Um, it's not really too important. But those are the type of cards that you would use in, like, blackjack and poker. So, of course, with Red Dead Online game poker, I think it's very likely it will, like, basically convert it into Grand Theft Auto Online's casino DLC. As for video poker, though, I don't really know if that's really likely. I personally put it as very unlikely on my previous casino video, just because, of course, um, Rockstar is poker and Red Dead Online, and it would be easier to convert, convert like I mentioned. And then, yeah, like I said, Blackjack can also be done with those same type of cards. I'm pretty sure there's no real difference between the cards and poker and blackjack. So I can basically confirm two different games that would very likely go with the casino and the update of course. And then the other parts of the logo aren't really that important. Though on the side of the casino there's something that says like slots apparently. I could see the coin, it could be some type of second currency since I would imagine Rockstar would have to have another currency in order to not get sued for having a casino DLC. I don't know how they could get away with it if they let you use shark card money. Or there's some way that they can like differentiate like money in game and shark card money like behind the scenes or something. What I could see them do is either some casino chip currency like people are talking about, or what I think could be a cool indicator for shark card money would have like a shark card icon, like they do for like a money symbol of course. Just have a small little shark icon with your amount of money after it. In like blue text or something, that would be pretty cool, like a pretty awesome way to show it in my opinion. But yeah, those coins I think could also be a hint towards slot machines, because like I said, apparently there's some slot mention or something on the side of the casino on one of the banners. And as for the diamond, I'm not really too sure what that would represent. Kind of gives me like fun nostalgic vibes of like the diamond saga throughout the GTA 4 trilogy, GTA 4, The Lost and Damn, Baldigate Tony. I don't really think something like that would really be that relevant with a casino DLC. Though if they do something with like a cool diamond story, that would be pretty cool. If you could like get some sort of like one-time diamond thing throughout, like I don't know, it could be a pr could make for a pretty interesting concept for a heist. Is that you have to like track down these diamonds for like multiple setups and or something like that. That's going to be more of a topic for another video. I might do some kind of video on what I would expect from a casino DLC heist. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen. But it would be for a pretty interesting video because there's been a heist of a casino in San Andreas, of course. But yeah, it seems roulette, poker, blackjack, and then slot machines are... Probably the four most likely games in the casino at this point with this teaser logo, of course. And 
for those who are worried since you might know of course that there are certain countries with reddit online poker that can't play gambling of course um i would not be surprised if it works the exact same way regardless of how they implement it in gta online but of course gta online gets bigger dlcs of course since it's been a longer and all that so if i were to take a guess at casino even though it might be the main focus of the title of the dlc and like the logo i would assume there would be enough content outside of that in order to be able to like of course do other things with a business side of the casino, I would imagine anyone would be able to participate in that. But I'm sure they can still do like plenty enough in order to um, give enough content for people who would otherwise probably have to use like a VPN or something to get around the restrictions of gambling in Red Dead Online and probably eventually Grand Theft Auto Online. And finally, I want to, in a little, show off some, like, leaked dialogue. Like, I'm not going to show it off, I'm just going to play it through my microphone. The dialogue, I believe, by the way, um, originates from, like, 2014, maybe even 2015, the latest. So it's pretty old, so, of course, it could be pretty irrelevant. Though I do think it's pretty nice to bring up. And it's pretty interesting, I thought that there was, at one point, like intentions to have a casino probably for like day one of the game. Oh listen, I just heard a casino opened up in town. Apparently it's pretty fun. Maybe you want to check it out. Have you been to the casino? I hear it is fun and full of opportunity. Hey, it's Lester. Listen, a new casino just opened up in town. Thought it might be something you would be interested in. <laughs> nice and simple. Done. And you're here, my friend. A casino has opened. Perhaps you should investigate. So apparently there's some casino just opened. And play a casino opening town. Perhaps you should investigate. So yes, you heard that correctly in that Lester Cress, Martin Madrazo, and Gerald all three had lines in the game files from like a few years ago or something relating to the casino. And I think I heard that the were from like day one of the game i'm not too sure like for the online there's probably remnants of like casino stuff in the files from like day one of the game even for single player i would imagine though i'm not too sure and that kind of stuff probably doesn't get discovered in the first day as far as i know but anyways i'll be talking about the different like audios and if i notice anything interesting for all each i'll mention it However, do I think they're going to use a character from day one of the game? I think it is very possible, personally. If I were to have to choose one, which plays Rockstar, make it just one, it would be annoying, I would imagine, for players to get phone calls from like three of the day one characters talking about the casino. So... Lester's pretty involved with like the heists and stuff in the game. I think that's a pretty suitable role for him. I don't think he would be too fitting for the casino, however, unless he were playing a heist on it, of course. Gerald, personally, I think he his gangbanger personality doesn't really make him a good fit for a contact of the casino DLC unless there was somehow like contact missions or something relating to the casino and then Martin Madrazo of those three I think is the most likely personally because of course he's a suit dude of course and I think it would be pretty cool for him to utilize Martin Madrazo again besides for his dispatch services which are just more contact missions he really hasn't had much use in the game and even in those dispatch services, they didn't bring back his voice actor for, like, lines for those missions. Like they did with Lamar, for example, for the Lowrider DLC missions. Though, of course, I know that was, like, day one with the DLC. Whereas dispatch services were, like, an extension and, like, drip feed towards the Stephen St. Andreas Super Sports Series DLC. I believe it was called... 
Though of course I can definitely see them using a new character. The only problem with that, well, I mean like an old character from like GTA 4 since they're technically of course restricted to the HD universe. However, as I mentioned in my previous video, the problem with that is like a lot of the characters that could be good characters for that have died in the game. Or of course died in Grand Theft Auto 5 in the case of like Terry Rope. There's like some person that was like involved with one of the mobs in the game or whatever in GTA 4 I think, but he was deceased. Only one that really made sense from like GTA 4 I think would have been Roman Bellic. However, I don't think he would be a good fit, because one, he's terrible at gambling, and if Nico's not going to be in the game, why should Roman? I know, like, Nico's character is a, like, voice actor problem for why he's probably not in the game, of course, again. But regardless, don't really think Roman Bellic it would make sense for him to move to Los Santos. I don't think he would move to, to like, complete other side of the coast or whatever if that makes sense so i just want to put that in as a little bit extra just like voice stuff of course from like a couple to a few years ago in the game but anyways that's gonna be it for this video and if you can somehow stumble across like other weeks of the casino dlc from years back from like a few years ago since it was pretty hard for me to find what I was trying to find with these audio files, definitely hit me up about it, because personally I think it's pretty hard to um, find that kind of stuff when it's so many years old, when people like made posts on it and all that. And I should also mention people thought like the Gerald voice was Malk. I'm sure it wasn't because they're from years ago, like I mentioned as well, and the Bikers DLC was like 2016. And by the time there was DLC for the enhanced version, of course a lot of things like really now Rockstar goes about things probably changed of course. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.